he understood that it, it wasn't fair to go out if he believed he would have to withdraw after a couple of holes. If he doesn't think he can play 72 holes, he does intend to withdraw before the tournament to give the first alternate uh, or whoever the alt next alternate might be, depending on what else happens, obviously a chance to, to, to tee it up. He said if something happens in the rough and, and, and I aggravate it and I have to pull out there and then then, then so be it but he, he will try and make the right decision and Aaron this is a fascinating conversation with you because uh, you've been through the exact same surgery in your career I know you're a little bit surprised at how soon he's, he's trying to get back but we know what Bryson's like he's hungry uh, I, I, I know Jaime last night said that, that you thought perhaps he should be sitting this one out and not pushing it because he could cause more damage in the future do you think given by what we're seeing now with the top tracer technology on as well, that we will see him tee it up tomorrow. I still hope that he's very conservative and, uh, you know, there's just no rush. Uh, he is swinging smoothly and it looks fine, but there is a lot of rough out there and it just seems like an early uh, healing, uh, too early in terms of, you know, the long-term setting of the bone and all these things that generally you hear about hand injuries. You gotta be very careful with them. It's the most important part of the golfer's hand. And I, I just don't see the point in, uh, in Bryson testing it, especially at a major, when he hasn't played well all year. This has been, I think, a nice status test, but it shouldn't be, I don't think, a potentially four days of playing major championship golf just coming off of this soon of a hand surgery. I, I, I can only speak from my own experience, Cara, um, with this exact same surgery in 2007. And I didn't come back. I wasn't chipping until mid to late December. I don't think I started hitting a full shot, and we're talking wedges until January, until the beginning of January. That's two months. You're not piping drivers. I'm not piping drivers 309 yards after five weeks. Now, obviously, techniques, um, therapeutic techniques, it could have uh, obviously changed and advanced since 2007 when I had the surgery, and that could be helping him for sure. Uh, but still, the human body is still the human body to a certain extent, and it heals a certain time, and the, uh, there's not a lot of blood flow in the hand. Uh, it, it's, it's an extremity, and it, it uh, has a hard time getting enough blood flow to it to heal properly, which is why the doctors have always told me, with no matter how, I've had five hand surgeries uh, between the, my two hands, four on the left hand, which is why I'm sitting up here with you fine folks, and, and one on the right hand. And I, in fact, I don't have a handmade hook in either hand. I've had, I've had the surgery on both hands. I've had that same surgery Bryson just had on both hands, so I don't have a handmade hook in either hand. So um, I can, and, and they're different. The right hand's different than the left hand. The left hand, for a right-handed golfer, is so important. The control you have to have, especially with those last three fingers in the grip, is so important. Um, and I, I just, it's, it's incredible, uh, and it's a testament to all his training and how strong he is that he can still hold the golf club after five weeks and hit it 306, 309 yards in the air, which is literally just smoothing it for him, quite honestly, mm -hmm. uh, considering, Jaime, what we're used to seeing him hit it. Uh, is it. Is it too early? In my opinion, yes, it's too early. Um, you know, don't, I don't want to see this phenomenal talent uh, Hurt it any, hurt it any far, hurt any further, uh, and wreck his chances for the rest of the year. I can again speaking from my experience. I maybe even came back too early, and I don't swing it nearly as fast as he does. And the doctors tend to think that I ruin some other parts of my hand because all the carpal bones in there are so intertwined and rely on one another, and that created some issues for me that effectively ended my career. But what we're looking at so far, though, is um, is all signs pointing towards a. a, a arriving at that opening tee tomorrow. We don't, he said, if I don't bump into any issues, I, I, I tend to go. So, I mean, it's gonna be a story that, that, that we'll watch. It's of course hard for us to speak to how he's feeling. Yeah. Um, we can purely comment from the outside. I mean, he's certainly, I don't know, maybe this is him going easy behind me right now, but mm -hmm. he's he certainly it, looks like he is looks in preparation good. mode. Yeah, it it looks, does. You almost want, wish he'd swing like that a little more often, Do you perhaps. think he can win a major championship with this slightly dialed back swing? No, I don't think he can win this week. I don't think he has, I don't so think. So then why do it? Well, I, I, because he wants to play. Because he wants to play in a major championship. We all want to play in the biggest events, obviously. But you would think, unless you think, you, I, maybe he does think he can win it. With, I, you know, I... I, I, I'm not going to pretend to see that I know what's going on in Bryson's head. I just know how most type A people, and I was once a, a pretty type A person when I was out here, were stubborn. 